You can move a little bit this way. No, I mean your arm because you're out of frame. Out of frame, it's literally right there. Why, why does it matter if it's, this is there? No, don't do that because then you're blocking the light. Avery, you're not being very ready. One, two, out of frame. Look, you're still out of frame. Even because I'm not not. Do it. Hello, universe. You did the gay wave again. <laughs> my name is Tati, and welcome to my adventure. You know what I love? What music? Okay. You know, on the count of three, let's say our favorite music genre. All right. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Soft pop, pop, pop. metal chord. No, I thought we agreed our favorite music genre was pop punk. Bro, rip your heart out for Jesus Max. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was actually in a pop punk band a couple years really? ago. Really? That's... Yeah, I was lead singer. We were called Burning Trail. That's a pretty sick band. Two EPs, one cover, three music videos. Like, I don't want to say we were successful, but we were, like, kind of on the road. Mm -hmm. We were on the road to possibly... Getting there. Maybe seeing success. <laughs> we were pretty much the great value version of Paramore. So somebody actually gave me this video idea a couple weeks ago, and I thought instead of doing it alone, it'd be fun to have Avery sit down with me since you've never seen, or I mean, you've I never even really known. Know. Yeah, yeah, I don't talk about it very much. It's not something I'm not proud of, but it's also not something I'm necessarily proud of. I'm very excited to see this. Yeah. like, you're a good singer, but like, pop punk? Yeah. <laughs> this should be interesting. Alright, so let's just let's dive, dive right in. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you our very first music video. It was a cover okay. to the song Pillow Talk by Zayn. So we'll the I really fucking like it. Are you serious? I'm dead ass right now. <laughs> Like, I was expecting to be like, what? I'm like, oh shit. I swear to God, I would download that shit on my phone. Well, you actually can. Spotify, Apple Music. That's so funny. Okay. This you is hear how country I sound? Fucking and fighting all. It's a look. Really? Yeah. Oh my God. I really like it. <laughs> I probably put a poster of you on my wall. That's so <laughs> Is that fucking weird? <laughs> That's so funny. That would totally be a group. So the music video we shot by ourselves. We came up with the ideas by ourselves, all of that. And I helped come up with a lot of like visuals mm -hmm. for it. And it was the first time I really got to kind of like put, you know, the things that are in my head on camera. Mm -hmm. And it was really dope. I mean like it was a it was a fun experience. I wanna see the OG music. Okay, so the first album was actually just me and the drummer, Acasio. He was kind of like the brains of it all. He was friends with my next door neighbor. My neighbor would always tell him like, oh, I know a girl who can sing. I think she would be like what you're looking for. Let me introduce you guys. It took us forever to meet. And then finally one night, my neighbor called me and was like, hey, me and Acasio were out in the studio. I locked myself out of my house. Can you please bring me my extra key? So I went over there and my neighbor was like, oh, hey, this is Kati. This is the girl I've been trying to get you to meet for the past two years, blah, 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 blah. And he was just talking shit, and he was like, yeah, she's probably not gonna sing, though. Name a song. Yeah, I was like, dude, fuck you. And uh, I think I sang, like, a Justin Bieber song, a cappella mm -hmm. or something. The next day, Acasio hit me up and was like, hey, I really like your voice. I'd love to work with you. And it was just him and I. The second album, we met Luke. And him and I actually met the year before, I don't know, we like talked a little bit at the studio opening party and then afterwards I had to like drive into his car for so for something. We had like mm -hmm. barely talked and I was like, all right, the night's still young, where are we gonna go? And he's like, I don't know, where do you wanna go? We went to this abandoned house and we like shared these like super deep and personal stories from our lives and things that we barely have told anyone else because we thought we'd never see each other again. Mm -hmm. And then fast forward a year later, we're like working in a band together. I don't know, it was kind of like cool how that worked out. But yeah, kind of the backstory of this band. So for our second album, we were able to do more things like, you know, like videos and, and stuff like that because we actually had a full band. This song is called Over You. I hate it so much. I'm so excited to watch it. Here we go. <laughs> I'm glad it was a face. I feel the touch of your this is a very Christian vibe right now. Okay, yeah, I don't understand. Like, I never got the point 
of filming in a fucking cornfield. Or pop punk, mm. my man. Like you're just playing the drums and there's fucking hay, like hay bell. Hay bell. <laughs> this is the song to start like the youth group. Like when it's like everyone's like playing and then it's like, oh, time to get all the kids in for like the service. They start playing this song and they're like, oh, it's time to go. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Oh fuck. <laughs> That's amazing visual. <laughs> Remember he was like, alright, now like now touch the mirror. And I turned around and I was like, Are you fucking serious? Because everybody looks in the mirror like that. And then touches it and just like, oh hell yeah. All the time. I feel like he looks like the cool youth pastor. I wish you were here with me again. times now and is each it? time I'm still amazed. <laughs> Say that one more time because you said guitar stick. We <laughs> <laughs> got what you were saying. Alright, so this is the last and worst music video. It gets worse we than have. that. <laughs> Actually, I'm not even going to tell you what's so bad about it. I'm, I feel like you're probably going to be able to like, like okay. oh hell yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be problematic, but I look like a school shooter. You don't not look like a school <laughs> shooter. It's crazy how much weight I've lost. Like, oh, for sure. I remember when that video came out, I was so self conscious. I don't understand. Mom told me I couldn't dye my hair black. It's not a phase, Mom. It's the real me. Emo's in your heart, not your hair. Oh my god. <laughs> You're really putting your hand in your hair and then throwing your fucking hand. Okay. It was so windy. Ah. I mean, you see how I look in this video. It's not cute. It's not good. The wind was not on my side. Acacia was like, all right, now run to the camera. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? You know, I lost the opportunity to have actual lines in a movie because I told the director, sorry, I don't run. I've never seen you run. There's a reason. <laughs> Fucking amazing work. You did that. The first one was good and I liked it and I was like, wow, you should have stick with that. And then I saw the other ones and I was like, I'm so happy. <laughs> I have not watched those videos in two years <laughs> for a good reason. I have like secondhand embarrassment for that poor girl in the videos. Like, I feel like it's a, I feel like I'm not even looking at myself. Pillow Talk, Pillow Talk is that was good. Dope. Visuals. Perfect. Yeah, you know why? Dark. You know Who why? You? Yeah, because I'm the one who came yeah. up with that. After watching those videos for the first time in so long, I don't like. I don't want this to be on the internet. I don't want those to be on the I internet. Know I know I'm kind of like shit talking it, but it it was a dope experience oh, for, for sure. like a teenage me. I remember being like four or five years old and always dreaming about like being in a band and getting to have that experience and stuff. I love performing. I mean, obviously, I do YouTube. I love them. Yeah. I love it. But my thing is like, once it becomes something that you kind of have to do, mm -hmm. it's not as fun to me. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Just watching those videos made me realize how happy I am that I'm not in that pop doing that yeah. anymore. It was fun while it lasted. I think that's all the embarrassment I can really take in one video. So just like my former band, let's go ahead and end this. If you'd like to follow my journey, please click the subscribe button. And if you'd like to follow my other adventures, I'll put my social media links in the description below. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Hug your mom, hug your pet, and until my next video, remember that the universe is on your side. Bye. Do not do that, Dad. We're doing that again. I'm not.